Hey folks, in this episode I'm going to teach you how to render your scenes out as an equilectrangular image so you can then re-import them into Blender as an HDRI um, to light up your scene. I'm also going to show you how to inject metadata into, the Im into one of the images because we're going to save two uh, so that you can upload it to Google or Facebook so that it recognizes the image as a 360 image so then viewers are going to be able to orbit around your image um, which is a lot more interactive experience for them. Here's a couple of examples so here's a sci-fi scene I made quite a while ago it's for a project that I'm working on Here's another scene. Uh, this is from a tutorial where I teach people how to make the, this uh, cloud dome, which is uh, quite, quite a handy asset to have. If you want to follow along with that tutorial, I'll leave a link at the end of the video so you can learn how to make this cloud dome. The third example is just like outside forest. There's not much more else to explain about that. Uh, these are equi equi rectangular images uh, are great for sort of archviz type styles. Um, it can be a re used for an array of different things. Here's another example. It's just a bit abstractly here. It's a bit strange. Um, this was for an old project I done quite a few years ago now. I'll give you a couple of um, examples in its raw form. So that was that sci-fi scene. This was another sci-fi scene that I done. I haven't. I didn't load this into Blender, so here's another. Oh, that's the uh, from the cloud tutorial. I think there should be one more of the cloud tutorial. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I will just disconnect the HDRIs that I imported in. I'll bring in my background. This is going to be in cycles, guys, so you're going to have to flip over to here, change it from EV to cycles. I then go to Cycles View, Rendered Mode, and we'll see what we've got. So it's just a sky background again. I cover this in a previous tutorial with the clouds. Here's the demo scene. So this is the cloud dome that um, you can follow along with if you want to. We have a tutorial. It's just a ground plane and some icospheres scattered around for points of reference. My camera is centered in the middle. So with the camera selected, so basically you position your camera wherever you want in your scene. You then go into camera view mode. You've got your camera selected. You then select your camera settings. You change it from perspective to panoramic and then from fisheye to equi rectangular. That's basically the 360 image there. You then go into the scene settings and you need to change the resolution. So the minimum record resolution is 8000 by 4000, I believe. Um, I tend to render out at 10,000 by 5000, but whatever the two figures, just make sure the top resolution, the X resolution, is double the amount to the Y resolution. If you want to go lower, say 5000 by 2500, um, you can always use AI to upscale if you've got a slow computer. Um, but for this purpose, I'm just going to use 8000 by 4000. I'm going to go into my render settings. I'm going to bring everything down because, you know, for speed and uh, I'm just going to hit render, so I'll render that out. While that's rendering, um, you're going to want to go to, where is it? You're going to want to go to this website, I'll leave a link in the description. Click the app, um, so the program's called Exit, Exit Fixer. Um, you're going to download the app, should be good for, you know, Mac, Windows or Linux. You're going to install it and then load it up ready and then I'll show you what to do for the next part. It's pretty straightforward. Still waiting for this to uh, render so I'll be back when it's finished. Before we go on to any other steps uh, it's important if you can to go back to your blender 
we've still got the image open here. Um, so go to your blender, go to your settings, right down to the bottom, we're going to go to color management and you're going to change the view transform to filmic and try and keep it on medium contrast for the HDRI. If you want to make it slightly higher contrast uh, for a bit more punch when you upload it online we will change that in a minute um, but for now we're just going to set it to medium contrast filmic we're then going to go to the image we're going to click up here save as and then we want to choose radiance hdri or radiance hdr i'll just name this one one 360 hdri one tut going to save that it'll take a while because it's quite a large file and then I'm going to go back to my blender settings I'm going to change from medium contrast to, to say high contrast go back to the render it's a lot high contrasty because this one's going to be uploaded straight to social media so then I'm going to click image save as and then this time I'm going to choose JPEG I would recommend having the quality like having some compression on it at least 50% because these files can be large especially if you're doing 10,000 by 5,000 and when people tend to orbit around the image when it's on social media it can be a bit laggy so if you have a bit of compression on there it should help with that so then 360 HDRI 1 tut we'll save that I'll just close this rendered image here I'll then open the images uh, where's the number one there you go so the 360 HDR HDR image dot HDR that's the one we, we can uh, bring in as an environment texture into blender it will give us more dynamic range whereas the JPEG we're going to convert that with the exif fixer software so by now you know you should have uh, downloaded the software installed it and whatnot so all we're going to do is we're literally just going to drag this image into the screen here we can set north by clicking this tab here and that way we can basically choose where we want our north to be on the image oh no it's not that one sorry can't remember how to set north but the most important thing um, is we're going to click this insert fake camera data and this will insert metadata into the image uh, to simulate that it's been taken from a 360 degree camera and that's what helps Facebook and Google recognize it as a 360 image so then you just click add metadata when it flashes it's done so now you can upload this JPEG straight onto social media and it will instantly recognize it as a 360 image. Um, to bring the texture, the HDRI, which we just rendered out into Blender, we literally, hang on, I'll close this. I'll navigate to the file. Um, it was this one, 360 HDR1 tut. Sometimes with a large file size you won't actually have a preview of the image, it will just look like a file. Um, but yep, yeah, we'll bring that in. I'll then control shift left click this to connect it to the world space. I'll go to render view. And there we go guys. Perfect. I've set my look dev up by the way for scene world I'll enter cycles mode and it will be in there perfectly and then you can use these HDRIs to light up your scene if you enjoyed this tutorial you can support my channel by smashing that like button if you want to see more up-and-coming tutorials hit subscribe thanks for watching